What's up, guys? It's Jacob from TCG Buzz. Uh, with some uh, content today? I don't, I, I, I don't know exactly what I'm doing. I don't know why I'm doing this. But I got something that maybe you guys will find interesting. If you do, let me know in the comments, whatever. Uh, we're going to go over uh, whatever this is. Let's get into it. All right, guys. So uh, what I have for you today is this brick of hard sleeved, hard cased, whatever you want to call these, uh, cards that I have bought within eh, the past month or so on TCG Player. It's kind of been my addiction lately. Seriously, it's a big problem. Um, I need serious help, guys. Probably why I'm in such crippling debt. Um, but anyways, uh, I've got cards here for various card games. We've got some Magic the Gathering, some Pokemon. Why did I buy Pokemon? Uh, some buddy fight, uh, other cards in waifu sleeves. Look at that. Ooh, baby. Uh, can't show that on YouTube anymore. Uh, we'll get demonetized. <laughs> uh, some Vanguard. And that's about it. So we're going to go through them one by one and just talk a little bit about why I wasted my money on them. <laughs> uh, they are randomized. I shuffled them up all nice and good, so I don't know what order they're going to come up in. So we're just going to go with it as uh, they come in the stack. So first up, we have a buddy fight card. Uh, this is an SP of Dragon Knight El Quixote. Let's zoom in on the art a little bit. It's in a nice, mm, uh, really nice SP from, I believe, CP01. Uh, pretty bad set, but he was good at the time. This is an old school season one SP for buddy fight. Uh, I've been buying them up, as you'll see a couple more in the stack, because I'm trying to collect every SP from Season 1 for a uh, like, nice binder. Uh, if you guys want to see like my progression on that, let me know. Uh, but yeah, we have an El Quixote. I think I paid like $6 for this. Uh, next, uh, we have a Magic the Gathering card. This is a Unlimited Edition in Still Energy, a pretty good card. Uh, if you've never seen old school Magic cards, uh, especially on green ones, it's really hard to read the text. Uh, obviously, it's hard for me, you know, my eyesight's not that great, but uh, I showed uh, this card and one of the other cards in the stack to some of the other guys here at the studio, and they couldn't even read it. So uh, green cards back then were kind of hard to read because of the uh, dark text on dark background. It's kind of a dumb idea, but this is a fun card. I've been on a weird obsession of buying old school magic cards lately because I really like their art and their design and I don't know, they got good history behind them. I'll zoom in on that real quick. I like that art. It's basic, though. Uh, next, we have another magic card. This is a, a promo card. I don't remember how it was given away, but this is a land card that doesn't give mana, which is weird for magic. There are a couple good ones that don't give mana, but this is not a good card. Uh, I'm going to be honest, I bought it for two reasons. Uh, one, no, three reasons. One, it was cheap. I like cheap cards, uh, just to add something to co the collection. Two, I thought the art looked really sweet. Let that focus. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. The guy's jumping, about to swing his axe. It looks cool. And the name. I, I thought it was funny because it's named Arena, and, you know, the current big product from Magic the Gathering is Magic the Gathering Arena. I'm, I'm stupid. This is what I waste my money on. Uh, next, we have a Pokemon card. Uh, this is a black and white base set, whatever it's called. I think it's just called black and white. Secret Rare Pikachu. Uh, so the gimmick in that set was like every single card in it was from the fifth generation. There are no old school Pokemon. But at a very high rarity, you could get this Pikachu, the only old school Pokemon. They did a couple others in the later sets, like a Meowth, I want to say. Um, but it's got this really unique foiling to it that I don't think they've ever really repeated. It's kind of like shiny Pokemon, but not quite. Also, the energy symbols have that same foiling. It's nice. This one's in not the greatest condition. I'd probably put it somewhere in between moderately played and heavily played. Uh, but because of that, I got a really good discount on it. And I just wanted one because I remember pulling one uh, back when I was, like, uh, Black and White's first set was, like, my favorite set of all time. And I did pull one of these. Uh, but it got lost over the years. Next, we got another old school magic card. Uh, don't don't ask me to pronounce that name. Um, yeah, 
Helm of Ch Chatzuk. I don't know. Uh, this gives banding, which uh, if you guys aren't magic people uh, and you play body fight like a lot of our fans, uh, this basically gives cards the ability to link attack with a keyword called banding, which pretty much does not exist whatsoever in magic anymore. Very old school. Uh, this is an unlimited edition like the other one I showed earlier, but hey, you can actually read the text on it. Uh, next up, we have uh, Shura Kaiser, I want to say. Is that his name? Yes, Shura Kaiser. Cardfight Vanguard SP. This was like 70 cents. That's the entire reason I bought it. I'm like, hey, that's semi neat. Uh, and it was cheap. So, hooray. All right, so my camera decided to become very blue for some reason. I'm not sure what that was, uh, but we had that one. Banding, it's basically link attacking. And then the Ashura Kaiser. Now you can actually appreciate the art, not blue. Nice red. Oh, it's an old school SP for Vanguard. And it was like a couple quarters, so why not? Ooh, uh, continuing my buddy fight SP quest, uh, we have uh, Great Spell, Devil's... It, what is it? Uh, Devil's Rock and Roll, sorry. Uh, I do remember this card being pushed, but it did not see that much play. It's not super good, but it's all right, I guess, um, situationally. And I always like spell cards that are SPs, so hey, nice. Uh, next, we have a channel. Channel's like my favorite card in Magic. Uh, I believe this is unlimited. It might be revised, but I'm pretty sure it's an unlimited edition. Uh, and no, that is not the camera freaking out. Uh, you cannot read this card whatsoever. Uh, on camera, off camera, it is very, very hard to read. Seriously, can you read that text? Like, even, it'll mess up the focus right now, but like, you can barely even tell there is text on camera. <laughs> um, channel's text is infamously very hard to read because of how dark the card was printed. Uh, next we have another Body Fight SP. Lattice the Tyrant, um, not Lattice the Tyrant, uh, Galazon, Space Emperor Galazon. Saw Ancient World, terrible boss monster, immediately thought Lattice. I'm sorry, guys. Not sorry, Lattice fans. Um, Galazon is, in my opinion, terrible, but he's really pretty. Uh, so this was very cheap, and you know I had to have it for my SP collection anyways, so I made sure to grab one. Uh, and I'd never seen its SP in person. It is gorgeous. I would not be that upset about pulling it, even though the card nowadays is only like 2 $3. Uh, next, we have another useless uh, Vanguard SP. This one, a lot more recent. This is a G-era SP. Got a nice texture to it, but the uh, foiling on it is very unimpressive, I'd say. Not too great. But, I mean... It's all right. It was like under a dollar, so I picked it up. Uh, next, we have a Pokemon card. Is this the first in the stack? No, no, no. We had the Pikachu before. Uh, this is a Shining Jirachi. Actually, I mentioned that Shining Pokemon kind of had a similar foiling to it. You can see that there. Yeah. Not quite, quite the same, but similar. Uh, the other thing is this one is textured. Obviously, you can't feel it through this, but... Pick this up because at one point I was trying to collect all of these. Uh, it was cheap. That's always a plus for me. And my girlfriend's a big fan of Drachi. It's like her favorite Pokemon. So that's cool. Uh, next we have another magic card. This is a beta edition sacrifice. One of my favorite magic cards because of the art. Uh, I think that art is fantastic. Absolutely really, really nice art. One of my favorites. Uh, not the type of thing they'd print in the modern day because... Uh, well, one, magic card tends to be a lot more boring these days, and two, they tend to play it on the safe side with anything that might be controversial, like someone literally stabbing a knife in someone. That would not fly these days, but eh. Card's only okay. I like it, but it's not great. But I like having it in my collection. Uh, then we... Oh, this actually has a story behind it. Uh, I did not order this card. Uh, this is a base set Zapdos uh, in, like... Light play condition at worst, easily near mint. If I graded this, it, was, it would be at least an 8, maybe a 9. Uh, and this was sent to me by mistake. I ordered a Zapdos EX, uh, which was a promo during the Ruby and Sapphire era. I paid like $1.50 for it in heavily played condition, and they accidentally sent me this instead. Thanks, guys. Uh, 
In this condition, this card sells for not a huge amount, probably like $10, $15, but that's a plus for me. Um, I'm not complaining. I haven't decided if I'm going to try and get the original Zapdos 2, like, complain. Maybe I should. I don't know. I'm kind of lazy. For a card that I only paid, like, $2 for, kind of not worth the effort, honestly. Uh, next, oh boy. It is my boy, Osmodi. This is a triple rare Osmodi from BTO1. I did not have any need for this card, but I bought it anyways, because it's Osmodi. What a fantastic monster. Mm, truly one of the best. You guys love Osmodi, right? Uh, and that classic triple rare broken shattered glass foiling is amazing, especially on him. I always thought he was one of the best looking with it, and he's riding his skateboard. Next, another Pokemon card. This is a hyper rare Pokemon card, and it's a shift tree. Uh, you want to know why I got a shift tree? It's because it was literally the cheapest hyper rare for sale. I don't even like hyper rares, but I'm like, hey, I wonder how much you could buy a hyper rare for. What's the cheapest? And this was it for like two bucks. And if you don't know, two bucks is the important magic number on TCG Player because you can't buy an individual card for less than that. You have to like combine it with others from the same seller. It's complicated. I don't really like it sometimes, but two bucks is generally the golden rule. So uh, anything about that price, I can't say no. <coughs> oh. Excuse me. I'll probably be cutting out anyways, audio-wise, if, you know, my editor's competent. Uh, we have uh, another magic card, Beta Edition Howl from Beyond. Uh, doesn't see a lot of play in, like, old-school formats anymore, but, like, probably one of my favorite cards, just because the art's, like, really campy, ridiculous, but fun. Uh, and the card's just fun to play, so it, it, it makes a good card. Uh, we have another Vanguard SP, and I... I, I would tell you the guy's name, but I literally have never looked at it. I literally just threw it in the cart and then threw it in the pile because it was really cheap. Uh, it is, let's see. Uh-oh, Ultimate Life Form Cosmo Lord. Um, I have no idea what this card is. Looks kind of cool, though. And it was under a dollar. Hooray! Uh, next, we have a uh, Secret Rare Item card of Rotom Dex. Really cheap card for... Pokemon. I just bought it to make my binder look cooler. More uh, of these. I got some good ones, like a rare candy and stuff, but uh, this one's not that good. Uh, we have an Articuno EX. This would have matched the Zapdos that I didn't get sent. Um, this is what the Zapdos would look like. Imagine this, but yellow, I guess. Um, uh, this is the Articuno. I like the old school Ruby and Sapphire G EX is almost a GX. Is geez, Jacob, get your shit together. Um, nothing really too much to say about it. It's not particularly good looking. It's a promo card, so there are probably a thousand bazillion of them printed. Hence why it's so cheap. Another beta card for Magic Regeneration. It's cute, not super great, not super bad for the, you know, then. Oh, there's a sticker on the back of this that says ten dollars. I did not pay ten dollars for this. That would be ridiculous. Uh, then we have uh, SBR for Vanguard of a Tachikaze boy, and uh, it's a big boy. I bought this for a decent price. Uh, I have been building a Tachikaze deck, so I bought this for that. So I might end up shelving it just because I don't care that much. But I don't know. The card's still worth having. It's very cool looking. Uh, I don't know. Any Tachi players out there maybe want to sell me on building the full deck? Do you guys think it's fun, or is it just not worth the time? Next, we have a Blissey. Uh, these are called Pokemon Primes, even though it doesn't say it anywhere on the card, which was kind of a problem with them. Uh, they're called Pokemon Primes. This was like the Heart Gold Soul Sarah, Soul Sarah, Sarah Soul Silver Eras. Uh, Special Pokemon, though they did have another one, which were like sideways cards, which were too... Po they were weird. But uh, this is the one that I like, and most people like. Um, but they're pretty cheap right now, because, you know, they're not played in any format or anything. Um, but I like their design, so I've been picking them up slowly. We have another Van uh, Vanguard. Buddy Fight SP card. Thank you, Jacob, for using the right game. Uh, this is Death Gaze. Death Gaze. 
Death glaze, death gaze, death, death gaze, death glaze, gaze, glaze, glaze donut dragon. Uh, really iconic card from season one. Uh, buddy monster of Davide, who's like a sadist, uh, and the monster very much is a sadist too. Uh, this card's cool. I do have a buddy rare of this as well, which I think might be a little cooler art wise, but this I needed for my SP set, and it was really cheap. Hey, look, it's the Moltres to go with the Articuno and the Zapdos. I would put my... Hey, wait, wait, wait. You guys ready for a really stale meme? Ready? 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 This is where I'd put my Zapdos. If I had one! Eh. Alright, thanks for uh, unsubscribing to TCG Buzz, guys. Um, next we have another Buddy Fight SP. This is a Demon Godel. Uh, shout out if you guys remember Demon Godel. Really old school. Uh, hasn't seen play in forever. Though my boy Christian loves Demon Gold and he doesn't know I have this and he's probably going to try and steal it, but he can't have it because I need it for my collection of SPs. Uh, next we have another Magic card, another limited edition Jade Monolith. This card is terrible, but it is a rare. Uh, so I bought it because it was cheap and it was a rare. Uh, ooh. Maybe some nostalgia for you guys out there. Uh, my girlfriend and I have this thing we do. It's a living Pokedex, but with cards. So we have one card to represent every Pokemon, and they have to be from like the era that the Pokemon was introduced. So all of our uh, Gen 1 Pokemon have to be base set era cards. And we allow reprint sets like base set 2 and legendary collection, but uh, I'm over explaining this. But uh, I, this was the last one we needed for Gen 1, and... It was a little expensive to get. I mean, even the reprint versions of this for base set 2 and whatnot can get a bit pricey. I think this is actually the most expensive card in the entire stack. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, and if, and uh, it's in pristine condition. It's nice, but it's not OG base set, so it is a little not as cool as it could be, but it's still nice. And last up uh, in the stack... Uh, we have, oh, Jacob, it's just another magic card. No, this is a special one. Uh, you Magic the Gathering players, hardcore, old school magic players might know already, but most people would not know whatsoever. Uh, if you compare this to another card, essentially the same, uh, it's going to be impossible for me to show you guys, but uh, the corners on this are drastically different than on this one. Uh, this is a beta Magic the Gathering card, and this is an Alpha. Alpha cards are getting really hard to find. They're really scarce. There weren't that many of them printed, and you know, a lot of them have been destroyed. So, uh, this is the only alpha card in my collection currently, and I sniped this uh, like right when it was listed for a steal. Even if it's one of the worst cards in alpha, it's still worth more than like the two, three dollars I paid for it. Hooray! And uh, believe it or not, guys, that is it. That is all the cards I have for you today. Uh, let me know if you want to see something like this again. I'm, I'm still buying more cards again. It's a serious problem. Um, please send help. But uh, if you want to see some of the cards I pick up again, you know, maybe in the next couple months, let me know. I don't know if this is remotely entertaining for you guys. <laughs> maybe just for me. Um, but I had fun with it, so I hope you guys did too. So like this video, subscribe, uh, tell me in the comments which card from this stack you're most jealous of or you were most surprised by or anything like that. Or just say, good day, mate. And uh, I am going to say goodbye to you guys right after reminding you to check out our Instagram, check out our, uh, what, Discord, uh, check out our uh, MySpace page, uh, our shop where you can buy some sick TCG Buzz merch and all that jazz. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.